Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partner content creator for Expansive Worlds. And as you can see, we're doing one of my favorite things, catching those grass carp. I've really, really gotten hooked on it lately. Unintended. Just love these things. I mean, 25 pounder right there, 158 XP, 261 credits. If you're doing that money grind, I mean, I've done a video on this already, so I'm not gonna keep talking about it and ranting on it, but I'm still doing it. So that should be proof enough for you guys. Here comes another one in right now. They just love this one doe. Here they come. They'll end up swarming about this. And this is the thing. This is what this video is gonna be about actually. Uh, we're going to talk about a new statement released from EW, and I want your all's feedback on it that has to do, I call it the nibble and leave, which was once believed to be a bug, but apparently it was put in the game as intended, and we're going to discuss it and get your feedback on it, and I'm going to pin something in the comments with this video as well to get even more feedback, but we're gonna to try to recreate this scenario and we get them coming in good uh, here in just a second. But before we do that, guys, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. Channel is growing. We have a goal to reach 10,000 subscribers before December 31st, 2024. And if we do that, we're gonna do a 12 hour stream. We'll do some special things, fishing uh, with the community, maybe even hunting and uh, throwing out some prizes out there, like some DLCs, maybe some coffee cups, if I can get my merch store up and running again. They switch companies on me. But anyway, guys, tell a cousin, aunt, uncle, first cousin once you're moved, grab a pet, baby, whatever. Come get over here and drop old Dorothy a sub. I appreciate you. I'm out here as always, taking requests, making guides, doing whatever I can do to make this game as fun for you as it is for me absolutely love it it's probably it, it is my number one game now it has stolen me from the hunter call of the wild but anyway guys let's see if we can make this happen and let's hop into the discussion and the official announcement all right guys let's hop into it from ewxo let's look right here Hey there, anglers, and this comes from the official announcements. This is nothing, no NDA or anything like that. Anybody can see this. I want to clarify that. I'm not showing anything that the world hasn't seen at this point. Hey there, anglers. In the latest patch, we deployed some behavioral changes to fish to combat overcrowding. As a player, you will most likely see this when a fish makes a decision on nibbling or taking a bite. It's an intended change that we should have been more clear about that we are currently taking feedback on by reading your discussions and comments. So I've been noticing talking to Dad's a psycho, Mike, my viewers, I've had it happen a few times myself. According to this, it's to combat overcrowding, which we see a lot of in the place that we are at right now. So what this means is if we get a lot of fish, that's part of the balance is it will lose interest. Uh, some of the fish will lose interest. They'll come up and nibble and then leave. But now here's my thing. I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to try to recreate it during this video. I'm pretty sure that I've had fish that weren't part of the school. You know, I'm pretty sure I've had one fish come over and nibble and then decide to leave. I, I'm not 100% positive about that. And this is probably why they're asking for feedback to see if it's working as intended. Or how do you feel about it, actually? Let, let's get to that, too. Is this something you like or dislike? And I'll give you my thoughts here in a minute too. But I'm pretty sure I've had one fish swim over, nibble, and leave. And if that's the case, that's not combating overcrowding. See, here's three fish right now. Um, no issues there. But if it's one fish that swims over and takes a nibble and leaves, that's not overcrowding. That's not combating overcrowding. So is it working as intended um, I'm imagining maybe there's some type of issue with if you get too many fish around the bait, maybe on 
consoles or PCs that can't handle, you know, like on, on the Hunter, when you get on Verhanga and you get around too many animals, sometimes it, it will lag real bad or cause a crash. I almost wonder if it's to combat. Some, so there's one that just left. That big one come over and nibbled and left. I wish I'd have been zoomed in, but it did. It the There was only two fish there. The big one come over and nibbled and then just went down and lost interest. Uh, that's what this is talking about. I've seen it happen a few times. Dad has mentioned it. Um, R. Lewis has mentioned it. Um, my issue is I have had big fish nibble and not come back. So... That's my, there's some that just went and left. See, look there, they just left. They come and nibbled and left. Some of them come right back. They keep leaving. I'm glad we caught this on camera. Some of them come back, some of them didn't. Uh, but I've had that happen to where the big ones come and then leave. I've, I've had one big one come and, and I know it's either a big gold or a diamond and it not come back. And I've wondered, is it they just don't want the cheese right now or, or what's going on? Uh, so you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about it. Number one, do you think it's working as intended? Have you had one fish come over and nibble and leave or has it always been... Ooh. Has it always been in a... Ooh, in a school? This is either a big gold or a diamond here, guys. But let me know your experience on that. Now, let's say it's working as intended and I'm just imagining things. I mean, I could be. I could be remembering it wrong because I just read the announcement this morning. I had heard that it was a bug and that if you restarted the game and come back, they would stop nibbling. I've not had a lot of nibbling, so it's not really affecting me that bad. But I want to know your all's thoughts on it and your experiences with it. Does it happen more with other fish, etc., that type of deal? But here's the other big thing. The question on a lot of people's minds is how realistic do we want to get the hunter? How realistic do we want to get the angler? You know, with the recent patch on the hunter, the fan base is kind of torn. Right now, there's a big gold, almost a diamond. Fan base is kind of torn right now. The grinders are feeling like, you know, they're being forced to play a certain way. Uh, I'm hearing from some grinders that if you just give it a chance, it's not that bad. Um, I don't, I'd like to know your all's thoughts on it. And that's talking about the hunter, but the reason I even bring that up over here is how realistic do we want to get? Now I'll just tell you my own personal opinion. I am glad that it's not super realistic. Because when I go fishing, I don't hardly catch anything. I'm sitting there waiting forever for a bite, and I, you know nothing happens. And personally, I don't care about the nibbling and them leaving. I don't like it. Um, it doesn't happen a lot, but I don't want to see a fish come over and nibble and leave. It's aggravating to me. Uh, I'm a very fast-paced person, which is why I grind on the hunter call of the wild when I do play it. Um, real life. I hunt and fish in real life and I come to this game to get an experience that I don't get in real life. If I want the real life experience, then I go do the real thing. That's my, see, look at how many we had right there. Uh, so that's my take on it, but I understand if they've put it in, if it can cause crashes or something, so they want them to nibble and then leave to disperse and not have so many around the bait, I get it, if that's the intent, if that's why they did it. But I want to know, is it working the way it should be? You know, are you guys happy with it? Do you guys like the nibbling? Because now that is the thing, that is a realistic thing. Fish will come in real life, nibble, and then say, hey, I don't want any of that, you know? Change my mind, like some of them's doing right here. You know, I mean, we got a ton coming in right there, so. Is that a realistic feature that you like? I mean, it, I'm not going to say it's a deal breaker and I absolutely hate it. I would prefer it not be a thing. Personally, I would prefer when I see it. Because here's the thing. How often do we see a lot of fish like that come over and it's the small ones that bite? <laughs> and you're sitting there hoping that big one bites. Like right now, there's that big one right there. I want it to bite, but it's swarmed by all these other little silvers and... Did the big one bite, you know? Oh, it did. We got lucky. 
<laughs> we got lucky on the big one bit. But oh, this is a diamond, guys. We have gotten lucky during the middle of this video and uh, we've gotten a diamond and I don't even know if I've stopped recording. I don't even know if there's any cuts in the action here. But so I'll say this, kudos to EW for being transparent and coming out and telling us, you know, that they put that in here, you know, and now they want our feedback on it, you know, so it's something probably easily changed if people don't like it. Uh, it's not an absolute nuisance to me. Uh, I mean, I've caught, shoot, I don't know how many diamond grass cart lately. I've had a few nibble and leave and didn't come back for whatever reason. Maybe at that time they were wanting another bait or something that I wasn't using and I just needed to figure that out and, and had to quit playing or and go do something. I don't know. The main point of this video is to get your feedback. That's what they're asking us is to get our, get our community's feedback. So what do you think about it? Do you like the nibble and leave? Do you want it to stay? Do you want it to be patched? Like it's not bothering me that bad. I could probably get used to it if they left in the end. But how do you guys feel about it? I'm going to pin that question in the comments after we get this dime in here. I hope it's bigger than, than some of my other ones I've caught. I also hope it's not an angry gold. It is a diamond and it is my personal best. It is 62.92. Unfortunately, that does not go on to my top five. Listen, my top five, you guys got to get involved in that. It is absolutely, for those of you all that haven't seen it, we're, I mean, look at this. Just scrolling down right now, you've got, I mean, it's filled up. This is like week three, I think, of the season. And, I mean, it's a one-stop shop. Let's, let's just go down and look at the, uh, we'll come over here and look at the grass cart. There it is, actually. 64.26 uh, is fifth place right now. So I can't, I, there's no point in submitting it. Now I can submit it in trophies in that channel in my Discord, no problem. But for a top five submission, the first, first step is to do what I'm doing right now. Look at the leaderboard. I see Doug has the fifth place one. It's 64.26, no point in me submitting. The top five is what keeps me going. I have all diamonds in the game right now every one of them and that top five gives me replay value so i know we got off on that a little bit but you really want to take part in that that is something that is ongoing that you can keep playing once you've caught all the diamonds now it's like i need a bigger one i need to get in that top five. Oh, so and so knocked me off the top five uh whatever fish oh now i gotta go catch another one you know that's replay value and it's fun and no prizes just bragging rights i get up in the morning i look at the top five i'm like what fish am i going to target today but anyway we got off on the top five a little bit i had to put that little plug in there the main purpose let me know what you think about the nibble and leave do you like it do you want to keep it in here i'm kind of indifferent about it but what's your all's opinions thank you so much for watching guys let me know in the comments what you think about it hit that like subscribe notify bell make sure notify notify bell is turned on for everything videos and lives and you know if you're watching this video today july 24th 2024 new legendary gets released tonight 10 p.m eastern 9 p.m eastern i'm going to go live we're going to form a search party we're going to divide and conquer we're going to put uh, come up with a plan put half the people in one place half the people in another place See if we can't be the first to find the eel or the catfish. Hopefully it'll be one of the new ones. And we'll see you at that stream tonight. Special search party stream tonight. Get involved. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. We are growing so much faster than I anticipated. And you guys are awesome. It's all you all. I love, I, I look forward, it's one of my favorite parts of the day is I can get home and stream, talk to my people. You know, I've made a lot of friends doing this and I thank you guys so much. Uh, we will catch you in the next video. Peace out.